All right, I'm gonna try a bunch of rackets. When I go into the rabbit hole, I go deep. We got the Gravity Pro here, V-Core Pro 100, E-Zone 98 Plus. Those two have restring zero in it. Head Boom Pro, that's the regular E-Zone 98. Oh, never mind, I got them backwards. And then the Dunlop, what is it, CX200 Tor? And some crank balls. I'm gonna hit out here, and I'm gonna rank these in order from favorite to least favorite. See what I can figure out with maybe five minutes each racket or something like that. Right now they're just in a random order. This is really good, putting this at the top. Let's see. Uh, left side of the bench will be first place. Uh, let's hit with V-Core Pro. This feels great, but it's still a little noodly. It makes a difference though, because this beam is thicker than the other ones, but still noodly. I don't know where to put it. <sighs> Maybe somewhere down here. I'm gonna take these out for now, just because they're not ranked yet. Also, I forgot to mention the v 98. We'll do that next. I think I'll put it next to the V-Core Pro. 
maybe I like it better than the next thing. We'll see. I don't know, head boom. Uh, Oh, this one's funky. It's got a strange flex I don't quite understand. Sometimes that happens when you put 16 gauge in because the string bed feels boardy. Uh, I'll put it here. That's kind of a placeholder though. Let's do the dumb lop. Oh. All these rackets have funky head shapes, don't they? They're all kind of famous for weird head shapes. This one's not. I'll film sideways just to mix it up. All right, little angle change up. Oh, not bad. I actually like it better than when I was sitting with it earlier. Sorry. All right, not bad. I didn't think I'd put this one as high. Oh, these numbers could change. But for now, I think that feels pretty good. Let's see. Which one's the plus? Oh, this one's the plus. We'll try the 98 plus, it's been a while. That's a big difference in spin, do you see that? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's a lot of spin. <laughs> oh, that feels great though, okay. You got the two days for the inspection, so I might go with you. Yeah. Huh.
Well, that actually felt really good. I'm gonna put that up there with the Gravity Pro for now, for different reasons. But there we go, they're tied. Last one's the Ezo 98 with lead tape and restring zero. No dampener, but I'll live. All right, this one's tying for first as well. Oh, I think some of these demos I'll send back. Some of them I might mess around with a little more. That's the order. These three are tied. The two E-Zones and the Gravity Pro. The Dunlop, the V-Core, the Head Boom, V-Core Pro. I haven't even seen these kinds of leaves before. So the helicopter leaves. <laughs> They're everywhere today. Boo, surprise. <laughs> well, that was a fun video. I got the idea just from the impulse of trying a bunch of rackets. I went to the shop, looked at a bunch of rackets and kind of narrowed it down to some that didn't have too open of a string pattern, but I've been willing to open things up a little bit because restring zero, which is my string of choice, is so durable that I feel like my preference for having a really dense string spacing pattern, I can find it in my heart to be a little more flexible about that. But it's only because restring zero is so durable. It's interesting, I have these really strict rules or things that I look for in a racket, but every now and then I get to a point where something, like maybe it's a product or it could be a realization maybe, but something in there somewhere opens up the doors a little bit. So I have had this strict preference for tight string spacing patterns. I talk about the Ezo 98 a lot and how tight it is. Tighter than a lot of 18 by 20s. I've proven this in a lot of videos that I've done because I break strings so frequently, but restring zero is so durable that I feel like I can afford to open up that preference a little bit. So it means that there's some other rackets out there that are probably worth trying. It was fun to hit with a handful of them and rank them from favorite to least favorite. And as you saw in the video, I do have the Gravity Pro now, so you can expect a review on that soon. And I also got that Yonex Regna. I still got to string that up. But yeah, there's a little update on why I had so many rackets to try in the first place. I was mentioning how durable Restring Zero is, but it is also a crazy good top spin string. You can use my code that is in the description for 10% off. It helps me out. It helps them out and you guys will have an opportunity to try an amazing string. It should be available in Europe and Asia pretty soon, but if you're in America or Canada, it's not hard to get this string. So check that out. Use my link. Let me know what you think. Get 17 gauge. That's my advice and string it a couple pounds lower than your typical poly. This string is making waves right now. There's a lot of content on it recently and I feel like everyone's pretty much saying what I've been saying that it's an insanely good top spin string. But beyond that, amazing spin, amazing durability and the tension maintenance is also really good. I have some interesting content coming up, so I hope you guys subscribe so I can see you in a future video. All right, that's all for now. I better do some stretches before I call it a night. I've been playing a lot of tennis recently. Gotta stay loose. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye.